Hey, Sneaky Newsletter today. Yes, today I'm back here. Yeah, I'm back today with Ubuntu 12.04 Beta 2. Looking rather nice, although some things are still not working correctly for me, and some things just don't work from older dis distributions there. 11.04, some of the programs are just not working in 12.04. Very good at all. Although, on the bright side, some are now working and fixed correctly. So it's a short video because there's going to be others out there. And the full release is in a month's time anyway, so I'm not going to show you too much. You've got your dash home, so you can either click it or, on the other hand, you can click your super duper button. You know, the one, the super duper button. So here's the stuff I've got already. I've installed some stuff here. Kazam, I've installed. I'll open it up for you. Right. Kazam, I'm afraid, just does not work for me at the moment. It's just not doing it. It's just, the, the actual quality is terrible. It's fuzzy and everything else, so I'm hmm, I'm not liking it very much at the moment, okay? At the moment, okay? So, we'll get rid of that and we'll quit that. What else has I got over here? <clears throat> anyway, back to my dash, yes. Abbey Word installed, just make sure it all worked. So we'll open them up and see what happens. Five, four, three, two, here it goes. But it's a real install on a real machine, by the way. I forgot to tell you, it's not in virtual box. But the version we're using at the moment, for Abbey Word, on 12.04, is 292 so that's one of the most current ones yes i would do the zubuntu one but i'm actually testing it for them at the moment as we speak on another machine so yeah so anyway abby word all works all fine hunky dory i'm not sure if i like the way it looks really to be honest with you but hey once it's full screen like that it's no big deal is it it's lovely jumbly okay as you can see i've got my old uh, bar hiding and not hiding hiding and not hiding and stuff like that you get libra office fully installed here for you before you even start I'll show you the Ubuntu Software Center. It's changed again. I'll tell you what, 12.04 has not been as buggy as all the others. No. Most of them have always been really, really buggy. But I could, in theory, just use this beta and use it. And nothing would happen too badly, I don't think, really. So here we are. It looks all nice, yunky dory, the old Software Center. Everything's here. You can install loads and loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of stuff. Yes, you can. Sound and video. Is there anything new? There will be a new video editor available when it comes out for full release called NovaCut. Remember? NovaCut. If I scroll down, I doubt it'll be here because they're still playing with it. Uh, um, no, it's not here, as you can see. Not there whatsoever. But, yes, that will be in the, in the new, uh, <clears throat> when it comes out in a month's time, that will be here ready for you to use. There's plenty of stuff in here. There is a lot, lot, lot more pay stuff. Yes, pay -out. Not really into pay, really, but it is if you want software that badly, you'll use it, won't you? Although, if we go to games, there should be some uh, some really good stuff. Is it oil rushes? See if that's in here. Hang on. Oil rushes here. It is twenty dollars. So that's about twelve quid. But it's a super duper duper game. Oh yes, indeedy. For Linux, Mac. And Windows was it for Mac? I'm not sure, but it's really really good. There's lots of videos out about it. I first done a video about it only two years ago when they first started developing it, and it's been out for a little while now. And it's super duper, yes. Anyway, that's a software center, that's nice. Okay, you've got Ubuntu One for your Ubuntu One stuff, system settings. So if I click on system settings, you'll see what I mean. It's all nicely laid out this time, it's not over cluttered. It's going to take you some time to get used to it, I think, personally, but hey, it's all right, I can, you know, it's all right for me. I've also installed my Unity. Okay, you click there. It's a little app for playing around with your dash and your bars and stuff like that. As you can see, you do your transparency and size and the focus and all that. I've not installed any extra lenses or anything yet at the moment because I've still been playing with it. And it came out the other day, didn't it? Yes, it came out the other day. On my dash, as you can see, display apps and display recent apps. Blah, 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 blah and all that. My panel, I've got on to full transparency. So if I move that along, you'll see what I mean. And it'll go to the block, standard color but I've got it on full transparency. On your desktop, you can show your home icon, etc., etc., etc. if you want to do that. Do all your fonts here as well and your themes. I mean, there's not too much here for it, but it does work, so you know, don't worry about it too much. And here's the My Unity credits. Okay. Did I say men code is now fixed when you're using DVD and converting stuff? So that's right, because that has been broken for about a year now, but now it works super duper. So anyway, that's your system settings and stuff like that. We'll go back over to our docky bar. There's my Unity. WFM pegs are here as well, although I think I might have to build my own one because it's missing some bits and bobs that I really need. VLC, as usual, is here. La, la, la. There's also a new prank called KX11 Grab. 
don't actually work very well at the moment it keeps crashing okay i will put a report in about that on the other hand, I've recalled my desktop seems to be working very well for some reason, considering it's not been developed for ages and ages. DVD's working all nicely. Open shots working all nicely. As I said, Kazam, no good, no good. Workspace switch and all that. Right, on the whole, right, in use is rather good. I don't mind it, it's alright. We'll open our browser up, which is Firefox by default, as you may well know. And if I put in Ubuntu 12.04, we'll go over to there. Scheduled releases. Just go to the Ubuntu home page, basically. There we go. And there it is. If you want to try it, go and get it and give it a go. You know, yeah, you can get it go. You can get it here, or you can get it from Distro Watch. And there's lots and lots and lots of ways to get it. Okay. So you can download and install. If I click there, that's the one they're doing here. Let's go to a different page to get the 1204. Where have I gone? I don't know what I've done there. I've gone to the wrong page and went the wrong way. If I go back, we can soon see where I went wrong. Oh yes, let's have a look there, that's probably the way to go, there we are, you can go and get it around here, super duper. Okay, so that works, have I installed Flash? Yes I have, and it works all fine for me anyway, it does for me, Flash works fine, although it did go a bit of a bum on the 1110 distribution, I've got another machine, didn't work very well, so yeah. Anyway, that's enough of that, that's enough of the browser. On the whole, 12.04 Beta 2 is going to be very, very nice, super duper. I'm liking it. Are you liking it? It's all right. But, you know, you may want to try Solus or some of the other distributions that are out there all coming along at the same time. Sneaky. Linux going out. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.